Garen went on to pot 7 goals and 15 points as the Penguins claimed their first title of the Crosby era. The trade deadline season is the time of year every contender is out there searching for a player who could put them over the top. The math is unforgiving as only one team can win each year. We don't know how the 2024 deals are going to work out for a few months, but we certainly know how some deadline deals from the past 20 years completely transform a team's fate. With that in mind, let's go in chronological order and highlight a handful of moves that paid off in a big way. The Edmonton Oilers were clinging to their playoff lives on March 8th, 2006. The issue in Edmonton was goaltending, as neither Ty Conklin, UC Markkinen, nor Mike Morrison was giving the club the saves it needed. Enter Dwayne Rollison from the Minnesota Wild. The 36-year-old came to Edmonton and did just enough to make sure Edmonton nailed down a postseason berth. In the playoffs, Rollison became the Oilers' co-MVP, along with defenseman Chris Pronger, as the team scored a huge upset of the top-ranked Detroit Red Wings in round one. The Oilers went on to win two more rounds and reach the Stanley Cup final as the lowest-seeded squad in the West. Now, this story has a uniquely sad ending as Rollison was actually hurt near the very end of game one of the final against the Carolina Hurricanes. The Oilers wound up losing that game on a gaff of a goal still managed to take the Hurricanes to Game 7, but lost the decisive contest on the road. Maybe things would have turned out different if Roley the goalie never got injured. Rolson is the rare goalie who was acquired at the deadline who went on to have a huge impact for his new team. Usually, we're talking about forwards and D-men, and in the case of the Pittsburgh Penguins, it was a classic grizzled veteran who helped Sidney Crosby and the Young Pens get over the hump. Bill Guerin was 38 years old when, in March of 2009, he was traded to a Pittsburgh squad that had lost in the Cup Final the previous spring. Playing on a line with Crosby and Chris Kunitz, another winger the Penguins had just picked up in deadline season, Guerin went on to pot 7 goals and 15 points as the Penguins claimed their first title of the Crosby era. Now, Guerin certainly helped the Penguins with his offense in 2009, but Marion Gabrick led the 2014 playoffs in scoring after being acquired by the LA Kings from the Columbus Blue Jackets. Gabrick was often battling injuries during his career, but when healthy, that Slovak sniper could fill the net. Playing on a line with Anze Kopitar and Dustin Brown, Gabrick scored 14 goals in the 2014 playoffs as the Kings survived a Game 7 overtime scare versus Chicago in the Western Conference Final and beat the Rangers in five games in the final to claim their second cup in three years. Now, adding scoring at the deadline is wonderful, but oftentimes teams are looking for players who can help them a little deeper down in the lineup. That was certainly the case for the 2020 Tampa Bay Lightning, a team that just couldn't get over the hump when it went out and acquired both Blake Coleman and Barkley Goodrow. Now, Coleman in particular had some scoring chops, but both guys were viewed as the type of hard-to-play-against guy that Tampa Bay had previously lacked. Sure enough, they went on to form two-thirds of a line, along with center Yanni Gord, that was fantastic for Tampa as the Bulls went back to back, winning the cup not only in 2020, but also 21. The team that ultimately dethroned Tampa Bay was the Colorado Avalanche, and the Avs sure benefited from the acquisition of gritty Finn Arturi Lekkanen at the 22 deadline. Lekkanen had never really put up big numbers in Montreal, but everyone knew he had the scrappy, smart game to thrive in the playoffs. Sure enough, he went on to score eight goals for the Avs in the 22 playoffs as that club hung a banner for the first time in 20 years. Lekkanen also has the unique distinction of scoring an overtime goal that sent his team to the final in two straight years. In 2021, he buried the Vegas Golden Knights in Game 6 playing for the Montreal Canadiens. One year later, he helped the Avalanche complete a four-game sweep of the Oilers in the Western Conference Final by tallying 119 into the fourth period of Game 4. Now let's get a look at the full ranking. Do not call the Dallas Stars about Logan Stan Coven. The recent call-up already looks like an NHL stud. The Nashville Predators just had their eight-game winning streak snap, but the Preds still haven't lost in regulation in nine outings. Boy, who would have thought the Penguins would be sellers at the 2024 deadline. It'll be fascinating to see how things play out in Pittsburgh. The Jackets had one of the boldest buyer deadlines ever as a bubble team in 2019. Five years later, things have certainly changed. All right, I'm Ryan Dixon. That's all the time we have this week. Enjoy the final moments of trade deadline 2024 and come back next week and all season long right here for the Sportsnet Power Rankings.